This is cool. John Fentro here with mobilehomeinvesting.net. I'm in the middle of the country. There's little deed restrictions. And behind me, we are gonna check out a mythical, uh, in my entire career, I've never seen anything as one of a kind as this home behind me. Um, I've always talked about it, I've always heard, hey, what if we put three mobile homes together? What would that look like? This is what it looks like. Let's take a look at this. This is something I'm so excited. Uh, we have expert cameraman and mobile home investor, Carl. Say hi, Carl. He's Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is so awesome. So the guy right here, uh, he, Carl, correct me if I'm wrong, he owns, he owns both of these lots and he inherited this triple wide. That is correct. So whenever he purchased these uh, two lots over here, this uh, makeshift triple wide was abandoned and left for him to take care of. If you're gonna buy something like this uh, with the mobile home on it, or if it's a uh, tear down mobile home, you wanna get, I mean, the land value minus the work. This is gonna take, in my opinion, two to three grand per section to have those removed or to have those demoed if you wanted to have them demoed. Let's go inside. Home sweet home. So get a look at the, I mean the floors are uh, in some areas just held together uh, by good pieces of wood onto the obvious rotted out wood. All of this home looks like it's paneling. And right now we're just in one mobile home. This whole length here, this long hallway it's just one mobile home with what one two three four like four rooms mm -hmm. on this front part oh and i love this okay. so carl you were showing me this look in here this is in between both mobile homes check this out you can see all the way down here if possible Look at that, that's in between both homes. And then you can see the dirt. I mean, that's insane. And they did a really good job waterproofing the roof. It looks dry in between there. But that is literally just, just the two homes pushed right next to each other. Now, how do you get through to the other side? Well, here's that fourth room in the first mobile home. Looks like he did some of his own constructions. Again, paneling. These interior walls, this one actually was built, but it doesn't have any insulation. A lot of these mobile home interior walls, especially from the 80s, which are these homes look like they're from the early, early 80s because it has a rounded roof, or from the 70s. This is great. Okay, so right here is what a doorway. Mm -hmm. This must have been a door from one home. No, I think this. I, I think th I think this was, this was just the 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 wall itself, and you know they cut it out and they framed it and made a walkway connecting the these two homes. So, and then this entire area right in front of us is home number three, and they cut an even bigger section out, I believe. The integrity of these mobile homes, the single wides, it's like a shoebox. If you start cutting holes in a shoebox, it becomes really flimsy. The roof is only held up by the by the the exterior walls of the mobile home. So when you start putting big holes in it, that really messes with the integrity. Uh, then again, this one's still standing, and the floors feel really solid. I mean, you can tell they put the three quarter inch. This is the original floor and the plywood. A little bit of pad for these uh, sticky tiles, which I don't know when the sticky tiles are put on, but they seem to be in decent shape. All these plugs just everywhere. Interesting to really see just the, the anatomy of a mobile of a, of, a, of a mobile home. And then the insulation, which this would have been an exterior wall. You have two by sixes. Um, and then the aluminum. I have seen, I don't know if this is used. Okay, so this is probably one of the original vapor barriers. Interesting, it's just cardboard that's sprayed with like this aluminum coating, which to be fair, I mean, it's probably 50 years old. It's still there. Oh, here's a better look at it, kind of down here. 
to keep uh, to keep the outside from coming in because that's the aluminum paneling. Oh, and that's when they, they push the homes together right here. And then there's the wow. This is something else. So here's the kitchen, obviously, of this whole entire, what, 11 bedroom home. <laughs> this is the kitchen, I suppose. Who knows what their thought was, like to make it more of an income producing property or uh, or just have it for themselves. Oh my God. I love though that you can just disappear in one section of the home. <laughs> that was a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. This is, you can go your entire investing career and never see anything like this. A lot of material here, though. I mean, if he, before he kind of scraps this, um, there is a lot of material to be used. Do you have to go? No. Okay. Do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the first sign of mold I've seen. A little bit, yeah. Imagine that that's. Imagine that that's probably older from that the roof being as. I thought the roof was done really well, so. Wow, this is cool. This is just. There's so many different guys. Back in the 70s, pre HUD, there were so many different builders that could do really however they wanted to. You got your weird looking tub with some side seats or is that for like your drinks if you're in the tub yeah probably you know if you're sitting and then oh yeah. uh get to... wow whoa Ooh. <laughs> that's terrible oh my gosh that's so shaky how do you want to step on that one you like <laughs> Thanks for the warning. <laughs> oh, that, oh my gosh. That's gotta be like the first his and her sinks. Wow. That's so old. This is a good example throughout this home. I just learned that the person selling the home was kind of a, maybe a messy person or a junky kind of person from the neighbors. Um, I was thinking, well, what's so important about this? And you know, maybe a guy wants to really uh, study up on his fractions, but it's just, it's, it's covering up a, a big hole with some spray foam insulation. So it's, this is just, you know, so just low pride of ownership. If this was a home that we were actually, you know, looking more into into purchasing it certainly has potential you could probably source all of these homes for free have them dragged to your property you and your buddies could push them closer together and you could do the work on the homes and we'll go up on the roof to see what the roof looks like because that's one of the biggest issues is to protect this huge structure I mean I can see someone doing this kind of in their part-time uh, and not having to spend much money maybe to get it to this point, but then from this point Well again, if the guy if the person's doing their own work um, You know they could just justify it anyway, but as far as an investor goes we would not want to do anything Like this. This is not the best use of your time or your capital. Here's the filter for the uh, Outside air units that we were looking at those are that's definitely aftermarket so weird and you're just looking at all the i guess you could eventually pull that out and you'd have just who knows what you could do with it make a few more holes <laughs> this is really cool okay where where does this go laundry room number two i believe yeah i mean even if you could keep this structure would you is this the highest and best use of the land Probably not. And then here's, uh, what do you think, Dave? This was a, probably a wall right here. Yeah, it looks like it was, and they just uh, took it down to connect the two. Yeah. To make this maybe the master or something. Or who knows, an office maybe? Wow, this is great. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's a vent. 
that was a vent that is now a big hole. Let's see what that looks like. Here it is. Oh, okay. So there is some insulation. I imagine, yeah, and right up there is the roof. Uh, we're gonna go on top of the roof. Let's check that out. So here's an example. Every material is being used. And here's some wood in between both of the mobile homes, some wood planks. I bet the neighbors will be happy when this is coming. Right. <laughs> I'll take uh, this and try not to get hurt. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, girl. <laughs> How did John die? Oh, he fell off a mobile home. This is actually done really, really well. I mean, it looks terrible. You can see how, well, I hope you can see how wavy it is. Maybe it's tough to see, but it's, it's some type of spray foam. If you listen to it, it's some type of spray foam that's put on all along the home. And when you separate these, if you were going to, you'd have to cut you wouldn't even exactly know what you were cutting. It would be kind of a mystery. You'd have to put the, you know, reciprocating saw through this or do it real slowly. Just razor blade, I suppose. Tedious with that. And it's just sprayed on. Or it looks like it's sprayed on. Yeah, because over here we saw a little spot. I mean, this is great. There's no seams. It's covering up all the seams. And yeah, it's this foam that I think what happened right here is they were spraying on the foam, maybe one of these limbs from the tree kind of fell. And so when it cured, it didn't, uh, it just kind of left this, but this is actually, a, as far as a waterproofing, I don't know how long it'll last, but waterproofing goes, it's not bad. But then you have all the water pooling, as you see it's doing right here and becoming brittle. If we were, uh, if this was a regular roof, walking on it would be, I mean, I feel safer on this, on this roof. And there's no seams for us to step on and then the seams break. Wow. But you can feel it underneath you, right? Giving and that's the, uh, that's the aluminum. It's not the styrofoam. Did it all the way okay so okay so here's an example eventually it does have a breaking point where it just does break and there's that flashing the metal piece so. would, you, would you think this foam is something you could use and have it not pulling in certain areas and just paint it and it look halfway decent oh yes uh -huh. if you were to keep it or if this was something that we were buying and it was just a regular mobile home no this this would absolutely be a plus. I don't know the weight of it. I mean, maybe it's adding a tremendous amount of weight to the roof, but I wouldn't think so, being the, the, the foam. Um, because the roofs are only rated for so much. But wow, that is impressive. So if you would like to own a home like this, call the number below. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made it all the way around the home and the top. We looked at the bottom. <laughs> Axel's uh, touching the ground. That's not supposed to be like that, but I'm sure that's like the least of the problems here. And you said that the plumbing, you already took a look and all of the plumbing is connected one trailer to the next? Yeah, so uh, you can't really see it here, but if we go back to the other side, I might be able to show you quickly. about right all the way over there there's that big pipe i don't know if you can see it in the camera but it kind of goes all the way across wow right there it sure does that's impressive took mm -hmm. everything up yeah you can kind of see it in the video mm -hmm. Uh, if this was going to be something that we were really going to be purchasing, uh, we would test everything. Although, I guess I would imagine that the water and electricity is off at the moment. Did you test the water and electricity? Yes, I did. It's then, off. That's, yeah, that was on. Um, yeah, this is this is incredible. Let's just let me just not talk and let's just.
I hope that was fun. I hope that you learned something. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, you can email me or ask Carl. Um, thanks for watching. I wanted to give you a quick lesson. Uh, the next door neighbor who actually owns both of these plots, like me and Carl were saying, I owns this plot and owns this plot. This is his double wide and there's the septic. Ooh. There's the septic tank right there. It comes out of the home, all the wastewater and the waste solids come into here. Uh, and then the, uh, the solids usually sink to the bottom. The bugs eat that and it dissolves. And then the watery water waste uh, comes out of the pipes and it goes along these, uh, there's like rows with PVC and holes punched into the PVC. It's called a leach field. Uh, and that way the water just sort of leaches uh, into the ground and um, that will hopefully last for decades and decades.